space, space, a space, a space, a space, a space, a space, a space, space, Do you know why I love big boobies and why I do not like asses that much? Asses are cool, but, but, hmm, yes, that is because I am part of the confronters, not the chasers. We humans are hunter-gatherers by nature. We are the apex predators of the earth. And do you know why I am a confronter? That is because I have autism. Now I'm not afraid to stare at tits. Because my eyes are important. This is why we do not like eye contact. Because when we are judged, we are judged for our intelligence. Women are screaming out. They are part of mother nature to basically tell us, fucking approach me, goddammit. That's why big boobs are on their eyes. Isn't it strange how in Japan everybody loves big tits and big eyes and everybody else in the developed worlds like Sweden, Britain, and I guess Canada for some reason. Yes, we are building intelligence. For what? Yes. Mother Nature is opening our door and kicking us out because we are littering all around in the room and never cleaning up after ourselves. Get the fuck out. Touch some space grass. We're like, no, there's the computer. I just like looking at it. Well, you can look at it. You can do some art on it. No, that's good. You can do some creativity on it. Don't. Just keep down on the coding, please. You're not building anything on this earth. You're overheating it. Maybe that's why global warming is happening. There's so many computers. So many computers. It's overheating. The CPUs are overheating. And she's like, get the fuck out, god damn it, holy shit. Let me cool you down. Then you're like, no, I'll just install an air conditioner. I'm like, all right. If that makes you feel better, and then we make a bunch of excuses and excuses and excuses upon excuses. Robots and robots and robots and robots and robots and coding and robots and coding and robots and coders. And then the earth is going to heat up so much. Elon Musk has autism, and he was, you know, brave enough to just make some electric cars, goddammit, and a rocket. Do you know why? Because that's his dick. He wants to ship us out. We are his cum. And Mother Nature's like, yay, you're finally getting out and touch some space grass. Get the fuck out. And there's only one rocket that houses people on it. Isn't it strange how humans have only made like two rockets in a space race to brag about, you know, our like politics? Oh yes, I am going to make a rocket with a spaceman in it. Well, god damn it, I'm going to make one too. And then they both flew out. And once they just touched the moon, like, Yay! I want holy dang it, go dang it. Russians just like, the fuck you do? Put a human in a rocket and fertilize this empty space. The Fermi paradox is there for a reason. That is because we're lazy. We're not making rockets anymore. Get out now. Rockets, 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 rockets. Rocket, rocket you up into space. Do it. Clean, do so. Creativity. Visible creativity. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>